Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy Mixed Quiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I take another first look, this time at Holy Potatoes, a weapon shop. I know, crazy, right? I saw this actually on Steam. Um, I want to say it was on Saturday, and I was uh, talking to Mitana. I'm like, what in the world is this? And I was reading the description, and I was you know, laughing. I thought it was a pretty funny-sounding game. I'm like, well, huh, who knows? Maybe I'll get it, or maybe the developer will send it my way or something. It looks like it's going to be releasing soon. So, of course, the very next day I woke up, and... Sure enough, the developer sent it my way, and yeah, I'm going to be covering it right here on release day, ladies and gentlemen. So, you should be pretty thrilled to see the game ahead of time. If not, it's a fun game. It's pretty cute. It's, I don't know, it's enjoyable. I had fun the little bit of time I played. I didn't go too far in because, well, as you know, time is a little bit limited, and since I don't have much time to actually get the video out before it releases, I decided to try to stay ahead of the curve. And I played about a half hour, which is roughly where we'll get anyway. So... We're going to start the game up, and here we go. Agent 46. Hmm, where is that silly spot? I said to meet me here in the morning. He's really not like his grandfather in any way, going by that letter he sent back. Dear Mr. Agent, of course I'll come. What's good to eat in that part of town? <laughs> that silly, empty-headed fool. Of course, it's all the better for me to... Hey, Mr. Agent, is that you? Oh, you're here at last. Sorry, I got lost. All right, been waiting all morning. Stand back for my welcome spiel. <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. All right. <laughs> Hello, you must be the grandson of uh, Batata, the legendary potato smith. As the late Batata's only grandson, you have inherited your grandfather's legacy, his blacksmith shop. I was your grandfather's trusted partner, and we had an agreement where I own 99.9% .9 of this weapon shop. And the 0.01% he owned will now be yours. I hope that one day you too can become a legendary potato smith like him. Bamba da bee! <laughs> Let's work together and earn lots of starch. Oh, wow. Hang on, starch? Isn't that what we're made of? Er, yes, but it's also our currency. You do know what starch is, don't you? Oh, starch, yeah, I'm, I'm not very good with it. Mom has been giving me pocket money for years. Right. Well, don't worry, I'm great with it, and I'll help you with complicated financial stuff and expand our business worldwide. Together, I'm sure we can make lots of starch. Yay, but how? Well, for starters, you're going to need to forge powerful weapons to do that for us. Here, let me teach you how. Alright, I can't wait. But first, do you have anything easier than... Oh, gosh. Patata Lada Kartoffel P. Ardapple Papa that I can call you? Alright, let's call him Spudster. We have the Spudster. And what do we want to call our shop? Uh, the Spud Drop. That's what it is. The Spud Drop. Yeah. I, I don't know. Welcome to the weapon shop, Spudster. Here's 500 starch to get you started. Courtesy of Agent 46. Secret Agent 86, anyone? No? Yes? Maybe? Isn't he awesome? A little bit. You're new in town, so obviously no Spud knows about you yet. You'll earn fame and get famous when you start selling weapons to heroes. The top right panel shows the date, the current season, and the present weather conditions. Okay. Ooh, shiny! Here, you should meet Laura, your first smith. Smiths will do work, will, I'm oh, sorry, will work to make weapons for you. Click on Laura Craft to get started. Alright, I have clicked on her. Laura's a designer. She's good at adding attack to weapons. Smiths can add attack speed, accuracy, and magic stats to weapons. They need to be standing in the right place to work, though. The colored spots on the ground are where your smiths can stand. Laura, Laura Craft has high attack, so she works best in the red attack spot. Click on the red attack spot to move her there. Alright. And we have two more smiths joining us. Bulk Bogan, really, is a craftsman, and Russet Peters is a metal worker. Craftsmen work better on speed, and metal workers on accuracy. Apparently Bulk Bogan, uh, yeah, Bulk Bogan is going to be uh, on speed, ladies and gentlemen. He's got the mustache, the yellow bandana. No idea what they're trying to make uh, a reference to, do you? You can click on Smiths while they work to learn more about them, or check out the Smith panel, located at the bottom left corner of the screen. Let's get to work on your first objective, Forge a Dagger. Let's click the Forge button and get started, alright. Apparently there's a thief here. 
Is it any surprise that thieves like daggers learn about hero preferences by hovering over portraits? For now, though, click start when you're ready to hit some metal. Alright, likes daggers. And speed is the primary attribute, and his name is Klepto Kid, by the way. Awesome name for a thief. Alright, let's click start and crack ourselves a dagger. Yeah! Alright, so... Hmm. Work, brother. Make it nice and easy. Heroes also have stat preferences. Since thieves prefer speed over the other stats, make speed the primary stat of the weapon by placing a smith in the green speed spot. Alright, we're going to steal the accuracy guy and move him over here. And we're going to try to surpass the other one. There we go. Now we should be able to go back. We're at 14, 13, 16, 14, 17, 15... We're looking over here at the stats, we need to make sure that speed is the highest one. Well, the primary attribute is the most important attribute. Alright, we're going to name it, not Dirk, but the Shiny Dirk. Or just Shiny Dirk, as it were. Alright. Named after the sound people make, getting after getting stabbed with it. Dirk! <laughs> Alright, so there we go. I can't believe it, my first weapon! Don't go all starry-eyed on me, Spudster. We're not done yet. There are tons of heroes around the world who need new weapons. Now that you've made a weapon, dun dun dun, you need to sell it to them. I feel so happy, so happy I feel like singing. Let's get down to business to forward somewhere happens. It's a terrible song, guys. Be quiet, I'm not done yet. Selling weapons to heroes lets them fight more monsters, which in turn lets them earn XP or EXP. And level up. The more your weapons benefit a hero, the more fame you'll receive. So how do I know if a weapon benefits a hero? I can't follow him out into battle. Or can I? Eh? 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 Pay attention! There's no adventure in here. You're a blacksmith. Aww. Aww. The heroes will let you know if their weapons were, if your weapon was beneficial or not by giving it a grade. You might have made a really awesome staff, but if you give it to a rogue who has no use for it at all, you're going to score pretty poorly. And you should probably be shot in the leg. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Alright. That sounds like school. Uh, nah, not really. You just need to pay attention to a hero's likes and dislikes. You got that? <sighs> yeah. Cheer up, Spudster. It's not that difficult. Now, how about continuing your song? That should cheer you up. Oh, you like my singing? I'm gonna sing a lot more from now on. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't mean that. Did they send me flowers when I asked for iron? No. Alright, your first weapon is done. Now, let's go sell it. A potato's gotta eat, after all. Click on the world map button below. There it is. Let's get selling. Click on sell weapons above. ka -ching! There are different areas in a region you can smooth can go. Let's go to the noob village first. Click on the noob village. Uh. Alright, on the left panel you can see the two heroes that you can sell your weapon to in the noob village. Since you're the boss, you can ask your smith to do the peddling for you. How nice! On the right panel, pick the dagger and the smith. Doing both will coax the start selling button to appear. Click on it to send the smith out. Alright. Well, we'll click on Shanna Dirk. And we will select ourselves a smith. We're going to send Laura Craft out to do it. And sure, that's going to be the play. Probably. Probably. Yeah, sure. Start selling. I'll do my best. And she teleported away. The smith you selected will now travel to Noob Village to look for customers. She or he will report back with some offered prices. Keep up with your merchant's progress through the smith panel down here. Alright, you'll see it's starting to tick over. Oh, the bottom right corner of the screen shows the Wets app. It's probably one of the most useful things in the weapons shop. Messages from your smiths, customers, and other news will all appear here or there. Make sure you check it regularly, except when you're smithing. You wouldn't want to hit your thumb, would you? Your smith will now send a message on the wetsmith's app when she or he finds some offers for your weapons. Alright, that's fine. Alright, so taking a look, uh, the shiny dirk has been completed. I'll just stick with stick it in the weapon chest for now. Ah, spring! When a young spud's fancy turns to... <gasps> Alright, that's fine. Alright, uh, what's app? So now we just wait for the little tick down here. She is going to sell, and once it's done... Gadoosh. Alright. Oh, look, your smith found the customers. Go on, check out the offers they've made. Click on the smith, yeah, yeah, on the panel. Alright, so here we go. And it looks like... There's two different heroes. 
There are two heroes with offers for you. Joy, what? You can't decide who to sell to. Maybe the expected XP gain for each hero might help you make a choice, since you gain fame when heroes level up. Alright, well here's the... here's the, uh... Hmm. It's obviously best if your weapon matches a hero's primary stat and weapon type preference. But hey, you're the boss of this weapon shop. Select the hero you want to sell to and click Sell. Alright, so we can left click Ooh. on this guy or hover over him. And it shows that he dis he dislikes axes, but he likes bows. He does have speed as his primary stat, so either way the Dirk's good for him. But he doesn't like the, the dagger or the knife. He would prefer a bow. Whereas this guy likes daggers, and his primary attribute is also speed. He'll gain five levels as opposed to one. So I would say that, yeah. And obviously he's offering more money, so we're going to totally roll out with that. So there we go. And we're going to sell it to Klepto Kid for 375 starch. You'll receive the starch earned from the sale when your smith returns to the shop. Sorry, we don't have online banking here. Alright, well, a couple more seconds, and... Well, wait for it. There it is. Boom. Your smith is back from selling weapons. Let's see how much we made. Click on the smith and the smith panel. Alright, let's take a look over here. I got the list of heroes from New Village. Got it. Now let's see if we can sweeten the deal. I finished selling the weapon. Alright, let's go here. Don't you love the smell of fresh starch? These, tri these sales trips earn you more starch as you advance. But also wear down your smiths, and the upset smith does not maketh a good sales potato. That was so much fun! 375 starch going our way. And it's worth every starch. Alright, we got an A rating, which is obviously good. So, sweet, sweet, nice style. We will continue on. Click on a spot to assign your smith. When smiths return from an area, they may get a random temporary status effect. Your smith is currently hyperactive. Assign your smith back to a workstation anyway. Those weapons need to get made. So she's hyperactive. What is this? Minus 20% attack and 20 and plus 20% accuracy? Okay. Alright, we'll assign her there. Alright, look, your shop received fame. Tell your mom, tell your dad, your cat. Being famous will allow you to see more of the world, literally. Just keep on smithing. Alright, so we've gained 42 shop fame, and it looks like it's time for us to forge another one. Alright, unfortunately, unfortunately, we can only forge a dagger once again. Alright, so we're going to roll out with another dagger. Your smiths can now boost weapons. The type of boost smiths can do depend on their job class. Designers, craftsmen, and metal workers can boost attack, speed, and accuracy in their, you know, in, in that order. Alright, and you can also boost the magic stat, but you'll find out later how to do so. Next, alright, well we want to obviously do a boost to speed, and it looks like we could hire a new person if we wanted to, to replace Bulk Bogan, but I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of okay with uh, our current individual right now. But am I? I? Actually, I might not be, hold on. Let's hire... Huh. Well, hold on. Is this only for the speed boost? I don't think we're hiring one. Alright, we're going to stay with our current individual. Like, we can get more out of the other, sure, but it's going to cost us money. I think we're not actually hiring them. We're only getting the speed burst. Or boost, as it were. Alright, one, two, three, four, five bonus speed! Woohoo! I'm quite proud of this one. Yeah, and we leveled up. Alright, so the speed is real, and it is ahead of, of the curve right now, by quite a bit, and it looks like our accuracy and our damage is pretty close. The damage might actually be slightly higher, but our speed is definitely rocking it right now. And I'm hoping that we can do just as good as we did before with this same exact situation here. Scenario, alright, this time it's going to be the Uber Dirk. Okay, we will put the Uber Dirk there. And again, same thing. After getting stabbed, Dirk. Alright, it is time to go and sell. Alright, forge another weapon. We have to sell back at the new village. So we're going to go down. We're going to sell at the new village. I'm going to go here and I'm probably going to sell it to Klepto Kid once again because he is the Dirk lover. He levels himself some Dirk, if you know what I'm talking about. Alright, she seems to be fine. In fact, I might send her out again simply because. 
She is kind of our merchantile, our mercantile person. She is mercantiling it up. Ciao, she says. All right, now we stay here and we watch their arms wiggle. Wiggly arms, wiggly arms. All right, cough, cough, the haze is here. Better put on a mask. Ah, oh, spring, sneeze. I got a list of heroes. Okay, we're going to go back here and... What is this guy? This guy likes axes, this guy likes bows, this guy clearly likes bows as well, but prefers accuracy to speed, so the Dirk Man is the one. He's offering the most money as well, so we're going to roll out with that and sell it to him. And hopefully we get another A rating. We might not, though. We'll see. And we could technically lower the Wets app, but I don't, I don't have a problem with it being there. I think that's fine. Alright, she's done. She'll come back. We will continue onward here. People really seem to like our weapons. Oh, we got a B rating this time. I'll recommend you to uh, to my fellow guild members. Okay, well, a B rating. We didn't have as high of a speed rating this time because I didn't pull anyone over to help out. Still, I think it's okay. We'll assign her back there. They call me the Dragon Slayer now. Level plus one. All right. We need to buy some ropes as our next objective because we're going to craft some new stuff. So here it is. Shop for items. What do we want to do? We're going to go to the new village and we need to purchase rope and five of them. And there it is. We're going to select a smith and we're going to send her out once again because, well, we can. And that is going to be the play. So we sit and we wait until the rope has returned. It looks like we can check our shop's profile. Okay, that's pretty neat. Statistics how many weapons we've made. Total XP for the heroes. I, I like all this stuff. Now this is actually a slightly earlier build than what's actually going to be released today, guys. I, I have a little bit of early access to the game, so things might be slightly different, and there may be some bugs and things that we do come across, but I haven't actually seen anything pop up that's a problem. So that was helpful. All right, ooh, we got a merchant discount of minus 14 bucks. Very nice. And we got five materials, which are the ropes. All right, we'll throw her back into her spot, and it's time for us to forge a bow. Bow forgation is ready. We're going to put it on... Let's see, max level is 25, max level is 10. We're going to put it on our archer, I want to say. Eh, you, know you know what? We're not going to do that. We're going to put it on our ranger. That's what we're going to do. We're going to start the crafting of the bow. And we're, of course, going to boost its speed once again with both Bogan. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, four. Aw, look at it pretty well. Eh, it's okay. Ooh, choose a uh, choice of fate. A jolly potato is singing a song. Ring, 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 <laughs> cucumber phone. Yes! I've got this feeling so appealing. That's an interesting song. <laughs> uh, the potato is elated that you know the song as well. Turns out he's a smith himself, so he helps improve your weapon. Ooh, more speed modifications. Yeah! Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone is the original one, so cucumber phone. I like it. I like it a lot. That was pretty good. Shout out to uh, the banana phone people. Wife hated that thing, by the way. Alright, I looks like he leveled up again or something. He was glowing there. I saw the glow. Oh, he's doing it again. Oh, super speed attack. Oh, this is going to be an amazing bow. This ranger is going to be like level 40 by the time we're done with him. Alright. The speedy bow of... Yeah. Let's see. Um, fast, fast bow... Yeah. Fast bow, yeah. I like it. Alright, there we are. What? Fashioned from a short wooden branch and a stretchy rope. Okay, let's go and sell our bow to the... Oh, we have to put it to the archer. No! No! Well, we're not going to put it to the archer, so... Oh, we can change activities, go back to the workshop. All sorts of crazy things. Well, sadly, our archer is not getting the bow. Our tree hugger is going to be getting the bow. That's fine. We'll get more cash monies out of that. We'll be able to go on another merchant run and stuff. All right, we're going to send her out once again. Have her start selling. And while that's going on, we're going to go to the world map. We're going to buy some more equipment. Because we're going to need more rope. In fact, I think we're going to probably buy 10 rope. 
And I'm gonna buy a little bit of bronze too. I think we're okay on wood. We have 20 wood, 20. All right. Um, actually, what do we have? Eight wood. All right. I'm gonna buy two more. I don't. I don't know what we're gonna actually need, but we're gonna go with that and see if that's okay. I'm gonna buy. Oh, we don't have enough money for all this. Okay. Well, we're not gonna buy all that. All right. Let's see. I don't think we need the bronze yet. Then. All right. We're just gonna stick with what we have. There we go. Select a smith. We'll send him out to go and do some stuff. Offer a supply run. Hopefully, they get back roughly at the same time. And he's just sitting there like, what about me? Why do I never get to go to town? People love me. All right, so 505 is definitely going to be the play. His speed is his primary stat. We need to level this guy up, so I sadly we should be working on a few others. You gotta love the bangs. The very, very sad face. This guy's got this resting angry face here. That's fine. This dude's got some weird, weird, weird mouth uh, rubbery lips there. Definitely some collagen going on there. That's fine. You know, whatever. All right, Tree Hugger is going to give us 505 cash monies for it. And it looks like we're going to be able to come back at roughly the same time. All right, we'll continue on. Ooh, we got a merchant discount of 5% that time. That's pretty good. We will do that, and we'll assign you back to your spot, good sir. We're going to come back over here, and 505, and let's see what we've got. Ooh, our merchant level up went. We got an A rating, durable and reliable. Very nice. Our fame is up to 100 now as well, which is pretty darn cool. We need to craft ourselves another bow. Oh, get an archer to level 6. How are we 16% into that? That doesn't make any sense. All right, whatever. Let's forge ourselves a new weapon. And we're going to, of course, do another bow. To... Alright, well, we've got plenty of stuff to get this handled. Alright, we're going to go with... Oh, okay. A short potato with a dark bob is really critical of some of your customers' clothes. She has a great eye for design, though. It must be Edna Code. Ask her if she's Edna Code. Hey, stop that. There's no reason to be mean. You lose her in a crowd of people and return to your workshop dejected. Aww. That's kind of sad. Eh, well, whatever. Alright, we're going to forge it up and hope for the... Oh, we're already forging. Awkward. Alright, we're going to go with accuracy boosting here. Russet Peters is going to hopefully uh, do some work here. Polishing. We want accuracy because that is the code of the roller girl. We actually got quite a bit of uh, plus to accuracy. Wow. You should be quite proud of that one. That was actually quite impressive. with speed and accuracy and coordination and all sorts of crazy stuff. And we're just going to bang out, hammer out another one, folks. Then we're going to go sell this. We're going to try to complete this mission where we get an archer to level 6. If we do achieve that, folks, that's where I'm going to break off this first look video. Hopefully you guys are having fun with it. I'm enjoying the game. I think it's actually quite cool. Oh, he's tired. I don't know what's going on with him. He just took a little nap there. Alright. I'm firing my laser. Plus 30% accuracy and plus 20% attack. <laughs> All right. One shot, uh, one shot, one kill. There we go. That's what we're going to call it because it is severely accurate. Not just super accurate or hyper active or accurate rather. It's severely accurate. It's got a, a sense of just foreboding there. All right, we're going to send our wonderful merchantarian individual. Uh, oh, we can fire the smith. We're going to go and we're going to sell our weapon back at the noob village. And it's going to be the one shot, one kill bow of death. And it's going to be Laura Craft. Going in, sell stuff. Ciao. Alright, it looks like there's some speed settings up top so we can actually speed the game up a bit. Alright, and there we are. And we want to sell this to... Ooh. Well, uh, apparently the archer's been waiting quite a while for this. He's going to gain at least five levels out of it, so we're going to give it to him. And he's going to really, really enjoy it. And yeah, 559 monies is pretty darn nice. We're going to speed up the game again, and there it is. Gather you back in, and 587. We've got merchant bonus there. Nice. We definitely got the A rating, durable and reliable. People really seem to like our weapons. Yes, they do. And we will assign her back, and that is that, ladies and gentlemen. Our objective is complete, and victory is ours. Now all we have to do is get a couple heroes to max level, and we'll be done 
Well, we've gone on about 25 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed. I might end up actually streaming this game because I find it to be quite fun. I'll wait till the release actually happens. So, and I might wait until I'm done with another game, but I don't know. Maybe I'll stream some Valkyria Chronicles and then throw this one in after the fact. Either way, folks, that's going to do it for this first look. If you enjoyed, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, with all the first look videos, I'll have all the information down below in the description of the video. Where to get the game, where to find out more information about the game, about the developers, all that wonderful fun stuff. And I want to thank the developers for sending the game my way. It was uh, quite enjoyable, actually. And a little bit surprising. I wasn't sure I was going to like the game, and well, I found it to be kind of funny. It made me laugh, it made me smile, and I don't know, everything about it is pleasant. I mean, the music isn't overwhelmingly annoying, which happens sometimes in games that are overly cutesy, if you will. Uh, all the mechanics seem to work pretty well. I mean, it, it's definitely got some potential, and I'm very curious to see how it plays later down the line. Either way, folks, that's going to do it. Until the very next first look, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.